Look what happened to the testosterone levels when they were put on a zinc restricted diet. Their levels got crushed. Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Another episode of Testosterone Thursday where we talk about everything related to testosterone. Anyway, watch the last video on, um, it was released last week on the anabolic checklist, right? The top five things. The top five questions you should ask yourself if you want to know if you're building muscle at a maximal rate. And number three was, did I eat all of my key vitamins and minerals and micros in the last 24 hours, right? You guys know on this channel, I do not stop emphasizing the basics, right? And I've been coaching people for so long, guys. Almost everyone I come across, friends or family, are deficient in micronutrients, right? Because everyone assumes that just popping a multivitamin in the morning is going to take care of their micronutrient needs, which is wrong. And not only that's hurting hypertrophy, it's hurting your ability to put on muscle and strength, but it's also crushing your testosterone levels. You guys are so quick to hop on TRT, hop on roids, instead of first taking care of the basics. I have yet to meet a single person who came to me for coaching or for advice, who is not deficient in at least one, if not five, micronutrients. And you guys are wondering why you have a hard time recovering, hard time building muscle, hard time losing fat. But anyway, back to this study here. And this is a no study, I referenced this several times, but long story short, they put a bunch of men on a zinc restricted diet for five months, right? And their testosterone levels went from 1150 to fucking 300, guys. That is insane. These motherfuckers age like 50 years in five months in terms of testosterone levels, right? And I'm just putting those two pictures here because, you know, those are the top two sources of zinc, but that's not what they were restricted in an actual study, right? So don't get confused. But long story short, they were put on the zinc restriction diet for just 20 weeks. And look what 20 weeks, and that's just zinc, guys. They're just controlled for zinc. Look what 20 weeks of zinc restriction which so many of you motherfuckers are deficient in due to their testosterone levels, right? And you guys are wondering, why is my testosterone level so low? I need to hop on TRT. No, bitch, you need to get your zinc. You need to get your micronutrients. You need to get your magnesium. You need to get your sleep. All of the things that I beat a dead horse over for the last 10 plus years. Guys, do you realize how huge of a drop this is? 1150. So they went from having super high testosterone levels. And that's not shocking, you know, back in 1995. And even before that, you know, men had much higher testosterone levels. And you guys already know why. It's not just exposure to uh, you know, toxins and all that. No, it's just our lifestyle, right? Our lifestyle is absolute shit. You guys are sedentary. You guys are avoiding your fat intake like the plague because you're so obsessed with getting a fucking six pack. You guys are fucking up in your sleep because you're up all night playing video games, right? I'm going to make a video explaining exactly why testosterone levels have dropped so much. But anyway, back to the video. This is just a deficiency in one mineral. Can you imagine what else... You're doing these testosterone levels by being deficient in magnesium, in selenium, in potassium, even in cholesterol, which obviously is not a micronutrient, but it's so crucial for testosterone synthesis, right? And I have a video about that as well, right? 70% drop from fucking puberty category testosterone levels to hypogonadal status, right? And how many of you guys are getting enough oysters, right? The top two sources of zinc, oysters and steak. How many of you guys are getting enough steak on a daily basis? How many of you guys are getting enough lamb? And I know none of you motherfuckers are eating oysters. And I don't want to hear, well, I took a multivitamin. God, I hate that so much. You know how many guys take multivitamins and are still deficient in the key micronutrients? And I told you guys why several times. One, most supplement companies are full of shit. And two, a lot of those vitamins and minerals compete for absorption. So you can't take them all at once. Get your sources from foods. There's nothing wrong with supplements as long as they're used to supplement your diet, not replace your diet. Right? You guys are so quick. Every time I make a video about something, like they're this own bullshit. Don't even get me started on that, right? I tell you guys, get it from food, get it from foods. And I get a billion emails about should I buy testosterone? What the fuck, guys? Stick to the basics. Because you're not only getting the micronutrient you're deficient in, but you're getting a bunch of other shit from foods. Whereas if you're getting your stuff from supplements, you're only getting that one nutrient. So why not hit five birds with one stone? Right? By eating your steak, you're getting iron, you're getting Zinc, you're getting saturated fats and cholesterol for the production of testosterone itself because everyone in the mother forgets that testosterone is literally made from cholesterol. Correct your vitamin and mineral deficiencies before you start crying about needing TLT, right? These guys, if it wasn't for the study, they probably would have went to the doctor and the doctor would have said, oh my God, you guys are helping an adult. Hop on this shit, right? Meanwhile, all they had to do was eat more zinc. Now you guys see why I hate the supplement industry so much and why I despise the TLT industry even more. As important as testosterone is, you guys know it's one of my favorite molecules in the human body. Testosterone, dopamine, myostatin. You know, 
I have too many readers on those three molecules. I love them too much, right? So as important as testosterone is, I still believe that most of the people on TLT do not need it. How do I know? I've been training people for fucking years, guys. I look at the diet, so I'm like, holy shit. I look at the sleep habits, so I'm like, holy fuck. You don't need TLT. You need to be more disciplined, and you need to fix your lifestyle habits. The only people who need TLT, the only people who need testosterone, I told you guys, number one, professional athletes or IPB bodybuilders, because millions of dollars are at stake, obviously, for the athletes, not for the bodybuilders, right? And obviously, if you're not IPB, that's common sense, right? You need massive amounts of roids to compete at a high level depending on your androgen receptor sensitivity and blah, blah, blah. And number two, people who have genetic conditions that prevent them from synthesizing testosterone, right? Or disease or castration, right? If you're not in those two categories, right? If you're not a professional athlete, like playing for the NFL at the high level or a professional bodybuilder, right? And if you don't have a genetic condition or a disease that literally stops you from producing testosterone from your own fucking balls, then you have no business being on TLT. But again, that's just my opinion. You guys can do what the fuck you want with your life. And like I said, I coach several people on TLT, so it's not like I have something against people on roids. You guys know me. I help everybody. I fuck with everybody. As long as you're trying to improve, as long as you're trying to better your life, I'm here to help. I'm just saying, do not jump the gun. Do not jump to a last resort solution if you haven't even covered the basics yet. All right? Anyway, guys, hope this video helps. I want to make more videos on other basic factors that have a huge impact on your testosterone production. From increasing testosterone, lowering sex hormone binding globulin, or even increasing androgen receptor sensitivity. Stay tuned. All right, see you in the comment section. Don't forget to join the Reddit. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nicholas Overlord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.